In this video, we will show how users can install and uninstall Red Hat OpenShift Data Science. Click on Operators, Operator Hub, and search for Red Hat OpenShift Data Science Operator. Click on the Operator and click on Install. Leave the default settings and click on Install. Now this will install um, the Red Hat OpenShift Data Science Operator in the namespace Red Hat-ODS-Operator. While we wait for the installation to complete, let's look, at, look into the uh, pods that get installed as a part of the operator. Click on the namespace Red Hat Open ODS Operator and you'll see that a pod has been created for the operator itself. Now click into the details, into the logs section. This will take a few minutes for the logs to appear. While we wait for the logs to appear, you can check if the in operators installing. You can look it under the install operators tab. Let's go back to the uh, part itself and look into the logs. The logs should appear any minute now. There you go. You see the operator started uh, the installation and the individual components under the operator are being installed as we look at it. Now this is the namespace where the operator itself is being installed now. The, um, the application itself gets installed under a different namespace. Now we will look at it shortly. Now go to projects and select Red Hat ODS applications. So any applications that gets installed under um, as a part of the uh, installation appear here. There you go. Like you can already see that Rhodes dashboard um, is containers being created. Now you can see additional components like the notebook controller and you would see um, components like the model controllers and which is required for the model selling aspect of roads. Now we have to wait for the container status or like uh, the pod status to move to running. Now you can already see that some of the pods have already been created and are in status running. Now um, the roads dashboard has been created. Now next click on routes to go to the routes for the dashboard. It says the application is not available because the service is not yet up and running. So give it a few more seconds and uh, you should be able to access the route and log into the dashboard. <coughs> go back to routes, click on the routes there you go. Now you should be able to log in with your OpenShift credentials. Click on log, log in with OpenShift. Provide the username password. 
and click on login. This will take you to the uh, Red Hat OpenShift Data Science user interface that you can already see that Jupyter is enabled by default. Um, click on launch applications. So let the default settings be there, like click minimal Python and uh, click start server. What happens in the background is like um, uh, uh, con the corresponding uh, container image has been created has been created or like the container image is pulled the notebook server has been uh, uh, created right now now you can see the server is uh, running click on open a new tab <coughs> provide the credentials to log in into the user interface you, you have to allow the selected permissions and this will take you into the JupyterLab uh, user interface. Now this is the interface where you would like clone or initialize a repository and work with your uh, data science notebooks. Next we will show how to uninstall the Red Hat OpenShift data science. For this you need to create a config map um, which you can find under workloads, config maps and you create a new config map. Select the project Red Hat ODS operator and click on create config map. Name it as managed dash ODH. Remove any key values that comes by default and click on create. Now you need, you need to add a, a specific label. It's managed ODH delete as true. and click on save. Now once this config map is created, um, you should see that um, any namespaces that or any resources that have been created as a part of the, uh, uh, the operator installation should get terminated automatically. Um, give it a few minutes and you should see that um, um, any namespaces that has ODS here, that's what we're filtering it for, should start uh, uh, being terminated. You can see the, uh, the namespace, red, namespace Red Hat ODS monitoring uh, is being terminated right now. So, so should uh, the other namespaces that were created as part of the uh, uh, operator installation. Now this will terminate all the namespaces that uh, the operator installed. Now you still have to uh, delete the uh, namespace Red Hat ODS operator in which the operator itself was installed. So you click on delete namespace, enter the name Red Hat ODS operator and click on delete. Now you can see that it's being terminated. Once the namespaces are terminated, you could go back and uh, uh, look at the installed operators or look under the project and you can see the namespaces have been terminated correctly. And this is how you uninstall Red Hat OpenShift Data Science.